Welcome to Frogfoot Holler, y'all. I'm Michael. My nephew Colton is behind the camera. And well, today we're hopping in the garden. So as y'all can see, my peppers are still alive and they got a little drink earlier. So now we're actually going to be planting the rest of the peppers that I want for these areas. And right now we're going to start with our cubanelles. See, cubanelle, looks like all the other peppers. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to dig me a hole just like this. And I'm going to put him down, dug it a little too deep, put him down. Now see how the dirt level right here for the uh, little pod or little cell there is at the same level as the dirt here? That is what you need to do with peppers. You don't need to be planting them too deep. They ain't like tomatoes and can grow more roots. So you just plant it like that, cover it up, pack it down a little bit so that way any air pockets are gone. And again, I make a little ring around mine so that way water can stay in there you're close by and it get plenty of drink. Now one more time. Right here. Dig your hole. Check the depth. Oop, a little too shallow. Check it again. There we go. Add the dirt back around. Pack him down. Create the circle. And voila. You now have two planted peppers. <sighs> and we got six peppers per row. I got five rows. We got a lot of peppers to plant, y'all. Not as many as some people, but a good amount. So we're going to get hopping on this in super frog mode. Y'all enjoy. So now that we got our peppers planted in the garden, and I'm pretty sure they're going to survive looking at long range forecasts and stuff like that. I'm not seeing anything that I'm too worried about. So I believe they're going to survive. And well, I'm taking a risk with them. I might as well take a risk with something else, right? All right. So we have my tomatoes over here that survived that cold snap. And I'm not planting all of them, but I'm planting that middle section there, which are matachis. And well, I believe I can plant them and get away with it. Now, tomatoes are a little bit different when you plant them. You, get, you can actually bury them a lot deeper. So that's a good thing. Get more roots out that way. Now, y'all see these red posts behind me like this right here? This is marking where every tomato plant's going on this row. Now, I'm told y'all this is going to be an extremely heavy year for me planting. So I'm going to be planting on this side of the net and the other side of the net. But the other side of the net, I'll be planting later on. Now, my sweet peas back here, they're on the net. By the time the tomatoes actually get to where they start causing issues with the sweet peas, they should be pretty much done putting off with if I got them in the ground soon enough. I'm actually wondering if I'm going to get anything off of them because it's getting hot quick this year. So we'll see what happens. Now, we're going to take these posts out one at a time and eventually move them to the next row, to the next row, and next row as we go along. But before I do that, and before me and my nephew do that, let me show you how I actually plant my tomatoes. So these are my Tachi tomatoes right here. These are actually a paste style tomato. And what we're gonna be doing is instead of stepping them up to bigger pots, we're gonna be going ahead and putting them in the ground. Now, y'all see these leaves right here? These are their first leaves. And you wanna bury them little bit past that point. Now the best thing to do is go ahead and pick off those leaves. You can just use your fingernail and cut them off like that. Pull your marker up, dig a nice hole, and you want to test it to make sure it ain't too deep. Let's see, that one's nice and deep right there, has good depth. Then you want to fill it back in gently. Oops. See, that's the reason why you do it gently. All right, so once I can get it filled in like that, I'm going to press down. Get rid of all the air bubbles that are there. 
and make my little water circle just like this now I ain't got to worry about having to step these up and they got plenty of room to grow for their roots now let's just see if they hold off the weather now one thing about stepping them up is you can control their growth a little bit better go ahead and put them in the ground you're kind of at a loss but as you can see bury them as deep as you can without covering up these main leaves here and roots will actually come off all that stem that you put in the ground so while me and my nephew get this done in super frog mode i hope y'all enjoy All right, guys, so as y'all might have noticed, we didn't do all the planting. And well, here's something. We got these in the ground, and as my nephew was putting them in the ground, I kept thinking, boy, it's going to be bad if I lose all my tomatoes because I put them in the ground a little too early. And well, I couldn't bring myself to do it, y'all. So I'm going to leave these, this first row, in the ground for three or four days to see how they react and if these survive we'll go ahead and plant the rest of them so these are kind of my test row and as you can see i still have the uh red post up and the reason being for that is so i don't accidentally think they're a weed and get them out so that would be bad Ooh, i'd be so mad at myself colton would too because he doesn't spend all that time putting them in the ground either which way y'all it's been fun today. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit done, and we got a quite a bit more to go. And I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. And Michael, around Michael's Barn, if you're watching, man, we're praying for you still. Hey, right, guys, this has been Michael with Frog Fit Holler. Y'all have a froggy day.